Alright, hope everybody's doing well. I had to kind of uh, figure out what I wanted to say in this particular video here because what was going on here is that I had just seen uh, Sammy Thunder's 1954 Tops video, so I thought I'd go to uh, COMC and find out what I could find there. And I found, you know, some two and a half dollar uh, commons here. I don't remember how many cards he got for 375, but he ended up getting a Ted Williams at probably about a hundred dollars, so then, uh, or, you know, 100, 150, whatever people charging for that one because it was in poor condition. Don't don't hold me to that particular price. But I saw a beat up Ted Williams on Com C for one fifty. Um, and got a few other cards in there that made it all worthwhile. But then I said, okay, well let me just go to fifty four tops. And so I typed in nineteen fifty four tops. But what happened was is another window opened. And I think I've been noticing eBay opening up other windows, okay? Basically what it was is basically they were I think they were trying to tell me what they thought that I knew what I needed. So what happened was is that um, I came back, I left and came back and saw two windows open. It's like, did I double click something? What happened here? I don't know. But let's just see what this other 1954 Tops listing was open. And then it says 1954 Tops or uh, uh, number 94 Ernie Banks rookie card. Okay. Well, it's a reprint or rookie card. It has nothing. It has a rookie image, but not a rookie card. So anyway, um, but twenty-four dollars and ninety-five cents, but two dollars for shipping. I they're showing a picture of an older one with scratches and beat up and all trimmed edges here, or a cropped image. No absolutely earthly clue. And then they're showing me this one here. I mean, it's, it's the old bait and switch type of thing. They're just showing me a Topps archives. I don't know if the Ernie Banks Topps archives is worth twenty-five dollars. I think back in the day, I would have thought it would be a two-dollar card. Because, again, it's just an example. It's just not great. But, again, nowhere does it say archives on this listing here. Nowhere. Um, this person has 24,634 feedback. Um, and then what we want to do, there's different quantities here. But up to the unsuspecting person, they might try that and see if they're going to get this one here. No, absolutely no earthly clue. I, I, but, you know, again, here. It says, Ernie Banks, 54 graded, we found something similar. Similar to what? You know, 54 Ernie Banks. We found, uh, I mean, it was an eBay promoted piece of garbage or something. I, I don't know. I really don't understand this at all. I mean, I think Mangini and all of the other vintage collectors would be furious because you look at the listing here. It just says, 54 tops, Ernie Banks, baseball, base set, rookie, Chicago Cubs, 1954. And basically telling you that, um, um, uh, it's not even tell you what the year of this freaking card is. Absolute garbage. So I clicked on, I clicked on, um, I clicked on this particular seller. Let's see. And then, um, so I clicked on this particular seller here. I think that's where I went. And then here we go. See, now here's the Ernie Banks here. But it says Tops Archives. But nowhere did that other card say anything about being a reprint. And I'm so sick of archives and freaking reprints. All I want is 54 tops. As you see, I don't buy any vintage cards because there's no card shows. And my LCS thinks that modern basketball needs to be shoved up my nose. You know, I don't even know who the freaking Blazers are because our top Blazer says I want to get the frick out of Dodge because Chauncey Billups or whoever our coach is, is just, we're just going into the toilet, you know, essentially. We can't win a game to save our lives. And then all of these freaking reprints here. So I'm seeing reprint, 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 archives, reprint, archives, reprint. I mean, I don't know that archives and reprints are worth five to fifteen, twenty-five dollars per card. Disgusting. But you know, nowhere in that listing told me, and eBay told me to just stick it up my nose. You know, I said, hey, here is a Ernie Banks rookie card for twenty-five dollars with two dollars of shipping. eBay's rules say if you sell them as reprints, you get all the perks in the world. You can do whatever you want when you sell reprints, fakes, forgeries, and BS cards. And then you get them graded and PSA and all these other companies shove your cards to the side and tell them you got trash. And then they do all those fun little things that they like to do is give themselves, their employees, and all their preferred customers 
all the nice grades and everything, and then you end up with Bupkis. And then when you start off with Bupkis, um, I saw a bumper sticker on a car that said I started out with nothing and I have most of it left. And that is my card collection in a nutshell. I am dragging out these worthless commons off of Comsi for, you know, 35 cents or whatever it is. And, you know, ripping and dragging and tearing them out of here trying to get anything and then I'm looking for common uh, cards that people find it elsewhere for a dollar a piece and then I gotta pay five dollars a piece to the eBay and Comsi gods or whatever because I am over a bear they got me over a barrel because that's the only thing that I could find with nothing I can't see anything with my dang eyeballs I got some of the best eyes in the world but I don't get to put eyeballs directly on any kind of cards you know unless it's modern basketball or whatever I've been in the hobby for almost 40 years or so. Good grief, because I started collecting when I was 10 or 11, or actually when I got my first pack of cards. So, I mean, really particularly stupid. Um, but again, this seller here is just archives up the... up your nose of the rubber hose. You know, I have no idea. There's some modified kits here, but again, this is just... I don't know. I have no idea. 2002, blah, 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 garbage, garbage, garbage. Reprint. Reprint. eBay suggested a freaking reprint. I'm gonna about uh, pop my cork and explode right now. I... okay. Let's just go back to 54 tops and see if we can find anything legit. Okay, I just wanted to say reprint. Here, here, I don't know. Oh, that's gonna cost there. No, let's see if I can find that here. That's not gonna work. That didn't work. I tried to type in I tried to type in reprint suck and that didn't work right. So anyway, let's just go back here. Let's go back to 54 tops. I mean, one time I, I don't remember what I know oh I, I can't even get back to okay. Minus reprint. If you don't notice the different sounds of my keys here, I have oh this thing this thing I can't go I have to wait or uh, I have a new keyboard here because um my other one just the letter T T as in tops um it it broke so I am so we got fifty thousand results for fifty four tops. Uh, minus archives and minus, minus reprints. But again, am I only going to get 54 tops? I don't know. I just need to go to baseball here. This is absolutely frustrating. I mean, I should write eBay a letter and they would probably uh, cancel my account here. You know, no complaining. There's no crying in baseball. There's no complaining about eBay. You know, I'm trying to find... I can't find anything here. So let's see. I want to go to... I guess I have to go to sports car trading signals. Usually you'll be able to filter out the baseball here. But they want me to click 10,000 times to get to where I need to be. It just, again, I do not like eBay, but they hold everything that I need and they hold it for ransom. That's, that's what they're doing. They're holding their sellers for ransom, they're holding their buyers for ransom, and then they're letting people put all kinds of trash on there like those freaking reprints. Awful, awful. I got only about 11 minutes on this camera or something ridiculous. I don't remember what I had here. Okay, now let's see if I can get to baseball. Okay, now when I clicked on baseball, we have 37,000 plus. Again, they will not let me know how many cards there are because these are secrets that eBay likes to keep and hold from me. Okay, now let's go to lowest price here. Again, all I wanted to do is see if I can find a couple cards that were in almost okay condition that I can add to my collection. Because, as you know, you see something that somebody else gets. Now, see, look at this. Bite me, eBay. 218 results. What the f***?